Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week we connect you to the best of Delmarva. Like other almanacs, our aim is to tell you a little bit about our past, our present, and events in the near future. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. Painter Rafael Reyes grew up in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. He got his BFA at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, where he primarily concentrated on sculpture. When he graduated, he came to the beach in Maryland with friends to celebrate. Like so many others, he loved the life here, so he found work and has been here ever since. Now Rafael lives in Ocean Pines, and his day job is in home maintenance. But the call to make art remains strong, and about a year ago he decided that doing small projects here and there was not enough. Though he loved making sculpture and working with what he calls the big boy toys used to fabricate steel, those resources aren't available to him right now. So he has found that painting will do until it is. I had actually had a, a knee surgery, an ACL replacement. So I was, I was out of work for, well, off work for a little over three months. And knowing that I was going to have the surgery, I built a bunch of canvases, knowing that I'm going to have so much time, let me get back into it. And that's for it snowball. Here's how Raphael describes his work. First off, abstract would be, uh, cubist, surreal, uh, would be my description of it. But if anybody doesn't know what cubism or surrealism is, I'll just say abstract. Uh, what I do is uh, I take images and uh, I layer them over each other. Uh, and then uh, wherever they overlap, uh, they all come through. Every, every line, every color, uh, every shape, there is a purpose to it. Because there is an image all involved in it. And the layering of images is what cr makes that abstract. The result of Raphael's layering and abstraction is a beautiful kaleidoscope effect, which allows the viewer to see the original imagery in a new way that sometimes seems like looking through cut glass. This allows him to create engaging compositions with multiple images in a single work. Uh, as you can see behind me, <clears throat> this is a commission piece, which is the Maryland flag, and uh, there, it has the Maryland terp icon, and then there's a a Maryland crab in there. And it will also have uh, the Natty Bow icon and Bob the Oriole bird icon. The, the main premise behind this piece is the Maryland flag. That is the focus and everything else is secondary. Most of my work is intuitive. Uh, it's, if it's something that's original for me, it's, it, it will be intuitive and it'll be how I'm feeling at that day is that's what I will paint that day and then the next day will be different. Recently, Raphael participated in an art exhibit at the Globe in Berlin, which was a fundraiser for local bike trails. That show challenged artists to create art from bicycle seats. He created a deer skull, which gave him an opportunity to get back to his first love, sculpture. I used different parts of the handle, uh, handlebars uh, to create the rack. Uh, so I was extremely happy with it. Uh, it wasn't traditionally colored like a skull, which you know normally would be like kind of like an ivory or off-white. Uh, this was darker. It was a, a bronze. Uh, but uh, that was the last show I was in. Raphael has also been a feature artist at Burley Oak, also in Berlin. One piece which he sold there that received a lot of praise was an inlaid wood Maryland flag with crab claws in his cubist style. It was created from wood recycled from shipping pallets. That piece inspired the painting commission he is currently working on, and he hopes to create more similar pieces with the inlaid pallet wood. Well, I'm going to go bigger, um, six by three, same thing, uh, Maryland flag, but uh, I want to incorporate the U.S. flag. Uh, so that will be a little undertaking. Um, Paint-wise, what I want to get to is actually uh, aquarium scenes. I'm going to do a lot of panoramic style canvases, um, long canvases, you know, five foot by one foot, uh, six foot by two foot. When you do one painting, my, my goal is I want to outdo that painting with a better painting. I, I want to create a, a large body of work. I want to continue, of course, creating art. Uh, uh, I want to show it. Uh, of course, I want to sell it. Um, ultimately, uh, I would love to just this be what I do full time. 
Raphael cites Marcel Duchamp as one of several artists who have influenced his style. He says that the words of one of his college professors, Paul Benzvi, has also stayed with him. Well, he always would go, you must attract the, the attention of the viewer. And the most important, or the next important, is sustain. And he would go sustain, sustain, sustain. He would do that for like 30 seconds. And then he'd be like, reward. And that actually stuck with me. And so initially when you look at my work, it sees, you see abstract, but the longer you look at it, an image will pop out. And you'd be like, oh, I see it now. So that's part of why I like doing a style that I do. With that approach, Raphael does attract, sustain, and reward the viewer looking at his work. Raphael also does portraits and accepts commissions. You can see his work at reyesarts.com or get the link on our website, delmarvaalmanac.com slash arts. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and underwriters, eatdrinkbyart.com, for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune.